natural hey. or could be trouble? I'm Kaya and this is uh, Conrad. This is Con I'm Conrad. All right, we're here today at Mundy Park and we wanted to show you something a little interesting here. We found the stump and it looks like it's burnt. Do you guys see that? It's really, really old. It's a burnt tree. We and don't it's a know stump. the cause. Could have been people or it could have been natural. Yeah, we don't know how it got burnt, but what do we see? There's these big holes and these big notches in the wood. Wow. Do you have any idea? What do you think would have made those holes? Probably a bear. You think a bear? Maybe. I think that there's a certain kind of bird that comes in and, and makes holes in wood that is dead and rotten. I think it was probably um, some woodpeckers. So woodpeckers break down all the dead logs that are rotten and stuff because they're looking for bugs. So it also makes natural little hiding spots for squirrels to hide their another acorns and their nuts in there. Yep, there's another stump over here. And this is a sign of a mature forest is you're going to have every stage of life. You're going to have baby trees just starting out, seedlings. You're going to have fully mature trees. And then you're going to have stumps like this. So it gives different kinds of insects and bugs places to live. Creates a little hiding spots as well. So something like this could be actually a hiding spot for a squirrel or an animal trying to hide from a predator. You can see that underneath there's a big hole in this. Yeah, you can see there's a big crack and there's a tree growing right out of it. Yeah, see this tree here? This tree here is a cedar tree and it's growing right out of the stump here, right behind it. So another thing stump provides is you. nutrients. Oh, another stump, right? Like, so because the stump, when it breaks down, provides lots of nutrients for the soil, there tends to be a new tree growing right out of it. Now, this new tree is pretty old. I mean, this is not a new baby tree. This tree is, is still maybe about a few feet around. This one that's a cedar, my guess would be that could be 15 or 20 years old already. That's just my guess. Or older than us. Or maybe even older than us. It's very tall. Yeah, it's very neat. It's just very neat. That one's really weird. Look at the top of it. Oh I'm yeah, right you're right. It's so I weird. see that. So there's a tree that's kind of half broken off down over here. It's yeah. really weird. Yeah. You Sometimes the things out of play. You do. Sometimes trees blow down in a windstorm. You never know what happens. Oh, there's no electric. There's a there's a power power source right there. Yeah. Uh, uh, phone reception, I believe. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Here's another good example of a stump that's got other things growing out of it. The stump has got these this kind of greenish stuff growing along the side. That's not moss, actually. It's dry light green this is a type of lichen a lichen and then at the top we have the softer green moss what else is growing out of it these plants are some of the most prevalent plants here which means oh, you can see berries. a lot of them yeah there's berries on yeah, them so you can eat those too yeah Never this mind. one has a little berry this one has a little berry up here those are what well, not cranberries uh... yeah they're close to cranberries but does anybody have a guess what kind of bush this is growing out of it i always think of a book that i a book that i've read when i was a kid huckleberry finn what are these? they're huckleberries what are these berries yeah huckleberries oh you found some other berries here conrad what are these ones? yeah so these red ones here let's see if we can get a better view Definitely not edible. So these are actually elderberries. This is an elderberry tree and actually the indigenous people of this land actually did use the elderberry. It is, it is somewhat edible actually. Mm, yeah, no. in small quantities. Some berries you want to eat a lot of, some of them not so much. But that is a really good reminder just uh, for the opening here that we wanted to just do a little land acknowledgement that here today we are actually on the unceded territories of Quay the Quaquitlam, 
the Stolo, the Tsleil-Waututh peoples. And we want to acknowledge that we are just guests on this land. And we hopefully will take care of this land, take all the garbage with us, leave it better than how we found it. Because we respect this land. Very beautiful. Natural. And you go for a nice hike up here. Oh, more huckleberry, more uh, berries, right there. El elderberries, yeah. Elder, yeah. Elder, like right kind there. of like our elders, elderberries. Yeah. Love how green and lush it is here. Nice and cool in the forest. Gives us a little bit of shade when it's really hot. More elderberries. More elderberries. Nice yeah. Yep. More elderberries. Oh, what's that? Video so, monitoring and effect. What? Yeah, that this one. is private property behind this fence. That's why. So this is, it looks like no public access here. Uh, city planning the future enhancement, realignment with the trails of Monday Park. Right, so they do have some construction that's happening. Um, so we could either choose to stay in the forest or we could go along where it's sunny here. Looks like there used to be a poster telling us which way to go, but it's up to us now. Monday Park Community Path is what this is called. Do you want to stay on the community path for a little bit? No Let's stay on the community path, I think. I'm not sure. The other one looks like it's very bright and sunny. No, no it goes to the street. Down there, it goes to the street. Mm -hmm. Nothing there. And end. there's actually a lot of forest here to walk oh, around. Look at that, too, a bridge. Oh, nice. A real, like a, it's like a, br uh, a bridge. Yeah. I see. It kind of looks like a fallen tree. It is a fallen tree, but yeah. it uses a bridge, so you can use it. Yeah, you could. That's the natural bridges in nature is when the tree falls. <laughs> you get across the river or get across the path. And the markings, so I think it's so you don't get lost. Uh-huh. Yeah? Marking. Oh, so you don't get okay. lost. That could be. Yeah, there's some pink and blue markings. Somebody's been marking the trees here. Ooh, I just wanted to show you guys... I found something that I learned about from Benjamin Etering. He is actually the one who did the foraging one before this. And he showed me that, see these pointy leaves here and these little yellow flowers? This is actually called wall lettuce. Like lettuce that could grow up a wall. So this is actually edible. You can make a salad out of this stuff. but. You got to be careful where you pick wall lettuce because you don't want it to be a spot where it has any pesticides and pollution on it. So in a very nice green area is a good idea, but I don't know with this park if they spray anything. So it's best to leave it if you're not sure. Wall lettuce. We learned something new. And you can show them the markings over there. It's yeah. Yeah, I'm not sure why they have like a pink thing on the tree over here. I think but... it's so you don't get lost. And there's blue ones as well. We're guessing it's so you don't get lost. And there's an orange one over there. And there's an orange one. So if it's different colors like that, I'm wondering if the different colors More mean different things. There. That could be natural. Yeah. More burn. Yeah, that's right. There's another... Oh, hey, 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 look right there. What's a black thing on the thing? On the tree? Right there, black thing straight ahead. Oh yeah, a what black thing on the tree. Let's that? go take a look. What is that? It could be a burn mark. 